What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. In a previous video, we unboxed and demonstrated for you the Asus ePad Transformer Prime, the world's first quad-core tablet on the market. Uh, I talked about the price, which is going to be $499 or $599, depending on the 32 or 64 gigabyte models. And I also mentioned a $149 docking station. So let me go ahead and unbox this docking station, and you can decide if it's a good match to accompany your quad-core tablet. All right, so here is the docking station, which can not only add a keyboard, but can also improve your battery life by up to six hours and charge the tablet. You'll get 12 hours default battery from the Asus ePad Transformer Prime's battery, uh, and this will add six hours additionally, bringing it up to 18. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. I'll use my unboxing nail here if I can, or finger. There we go. All right, so the plastic is torn. Go ahead and open this up. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Pull off the top, and here is the keyboard dock. Uh, much thinner and lighter than previous generation uh, keyboard docks we've seen in the past. Let's go ahead and pull off all the plastic. There appears to be quite a bit of it. All right. Plastic. It's harder than it looks. Sometimes brute force is just the best way to go. All right, <laughs> we'll pull all this stuff off to the side. You're going to have inside the box as well um, some warranty information um, and a cleaning cloth. A cleaning cloth also will come with your tablet, but in case you have doubly greasy fingers, you can go ahead and use that to clean it. All right, so let's take a look at the tablet dock itself, uh, which is considerably lighter and thinner again than we've seen in the past. So in addition to having a keyboard, uh, you're also getting mouse control here, which is quite nice. Uh, you can dock and charge your pad for up to 18 hours of battery life. You get a full QWERTY keyboard, as I just mentioned, uh, and you get easy file sharing with the built-in SD card and USB port. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, let's see what this keyboard feels like. It's got relatively decent key throw to it. Uh, it's not full size, but it's very close. Uh, it's gonna probably translate to a pretty enjoyable typing experience, but of course we'll test it and let you know if it's going to be worth your $150. Uh, you've got some typical Android controls here in addition to regular keyboard controls. Uh, so you've got a home button right there, and you've got your Android menu button. You're also gonna have full arrow keys, which could be great for gaming, or if you do a lot of spreadsheets, if you're on an airplane or in class, uh, that's going to be very helpful. And of course, for taking notes, uh, this is going to be a really nice addition. And of course, you can lock it as well. All right, so we talked about other ports and expandability. Let's take a look at those other ports and expandability here. Uh, so there is where the charging is going to happen. It uses the same uh, proprietary charger uh, that your ePad Transformer Prime is gonna use. On the right-hand side, this is where some of the action uh, is going to happen. So you've got a full-size SD card here. Some of you photographers uh, might appreciate that, or you video nuts, or folks that just like bigger expandable media. Uh, you're going to have that option. And you're also going to have a full and functional USB port here as well with this sure to be lost uh, rubber stopper that lives in there. So this will expand your battery up to 18 hours. So if your tablet is dying, you go ahead and plug it on in. Thinking of plug it on in, let's go ahead and do that and see what it looks like. I happen to have here the Asus ePad Transformer Prime. Let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see that uh, beautiful IPS screen. There is not only a charging port, it's also one of the dock connectors. So go ahead and make sure this is in the unlock position. This lever can move left or right um, to lock it in place. We'll go ahead and try and slide it in. When I reviewed the first ePad transformer, uh, the dock notoriously gave me trouble. I'm hoping that this is going to be a bit of a better experience uh, trying to get this to work. So we'll do it for the first time, see if we can get this to function. All right, so every now and then in some unboxing reviews, we come across some interesting things. Here are the instructions that we actually had a reference. And what you guys didn't see was about the 20 minutes that elapsed between uh, when the video ended and when it begins right now. Here are the instructions. It looks like you would just drop it in place. Uh, what they don't tell you, however, is that on the bottom of the tablet here, these two slots were actually filled with these very hard to remove rubber stoppers. Uh, in each of those two slots, meaning when those rubber stoppers are in, the tablet's not gonna dock, and there's no indication in the instructions 
that you're supposed to remove them. They look like they're actually part of the tablet uh, themselves. So the docking doesn't work. Um, so consider yourself warned to know that when you do get your tablet, uh, you are going to want to dock that. Now once you uh, do eventually realize that, see there's a little bit of an arrow on the bottom. There's an arrow here on the dock itself. And you should, at least in theory now, be able to snap it right into place. And indeed, uh, you can do that. So it's asking me if I want to shut down. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And now I can actually use the keyboard dock on the Asus EPad Transformer Prime. So let me bring this up a little bit uh, and show you uh, what things are gonna look like and how it's gonna look when you do your navigation. So you've got, I'll move this so you can see, you've got your full trackpad here, which is actually going to correspond to a mouse on the keyboard. Uh, and it works pretty well. The mouse, you can't probably see, but the cursor um, looks just as it would on a computer. So I go ahead and go down to Home, and if I select it, I can click, and I can go ahead and jump into Home. If I want to take a look at Applications, I can go ahead and take a look at Applications. Uh, so let's say I want to try typing something, for example. So I'll go ahead and jump into Browser. We haven't configured it for Wi-Fi yet, uh, but it will give us the ability to use the keyboard. So we'll go ahead and just hit OK. Browser connection is unavailable. Let's go ahead and see what the keyboard feels like now uh, that I'm typing. And it's pretty quick. The letters are showing up instantaneously. There isn't any sort of lag. Um, things just seem to be working. Uh, the arrow navigation are a little bit on the small side, uh, but definitely works. We'll go ahead and hit the Home button. Uh, this has been a very quick unboxing. And of course, we'll do a full review and demonstration uh, of the keyboard dock uh, in a little bit. Uh, in a coming video. So I'll go ahead and close this up. You can see what it looks like. Uh, it really is a uh, thin package. It feels like a little bit of a heavier netbook. Um, got a very nice look and feel to it. And of course, the top matches the bottom. So it almost looks like a full tablet. This you could definitely carry with you to class. You could take it with you to work, to take notes, or you could watch videos or movies on a plane. Uh, and perhaps not even have to bring a laptop. So I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This has been an unboxing of the $149 Asus EPad Transformer Prime keyboard dock. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for a ton more coverage of the Asus EPad Transformer Prime.